My name is Anna and I'm the founder of Minuki. Without further ado, let me introduce our startup. Pregnancy is often perceived by society as an exceptionally happy time in a woman's life. Although people tend to associate it with smiles, joy, or excitement, this is one of the most stressful periods of the women's life. Pregnant women are often overwhelmed with the responsibility of eating well, staying healthy, and emotionally positive. But at the same time, they're constantly bombarded with some really genuine information that does not respond to their specific needs. Moreover, when everybody expects women to be happy during this time, it is especially challenging for them to share their worries and anxieties with others, be it their partners, families, friends, or co-workers. To solve this problem, we developed the U Plus Me Pregnancy app, an app that supports pregnant women and improves their well-being. Uh, our services first include a health tracking algorithm based on the novel AI machine learning approach that can monitor women's biological data, providing personalized insights related to a woman's emotional stability, symptoms, exercise, stress, and sleep levels, and give advice for improving uh, well-being. Secondly, based on this data, we give uh, nutritional advice. We generate a recommended pregnancy-specific menu for up to seven days. We also provide emotional support. The app is done specifically for pregnant women to create and cherish the sense of community and mutual support. We encourage the participation of the woman's partner during the whole pregnancy period by sending notifications and advice on what kind of support is needed. Finally, all of the features are gamified and connected with a little baby character in the app who grows and develops as a woman's body changes. The normal nutrition balance and normal health status were defined together with the gynecology and obstetrics department of Kyoto University and with the Melody International Company, a developer of Vito Monitors. As for the market, the overall femtech market, which covers uh, all of these things and more, is said to be worth $50 billion by 2025. Statistically, the potential market size reached uh, 900,000 pregnant women in Japan and 3 million, 3 million women in Brazil. We conducted a survey of 100 pregnant women, uh, both in Japan and Brazil, 95 of 95% of them experienced stress and anxiety during pregnancy, and 91% would use an interactive and personalized pregnancy app to guide them. That makes it up to 3 million, nine, around 900,000 potential users in these countries. We also plan to extend our services to developing countries in Africa and Southeast Asia to promote health and well-being for all, as in the SDGs uh, 3, and to contribute to the reduction in the maternity mortality rate. We have a free version with paid functionalities of $5 per month, Based on the number of potential customers uh, and conversion rate, our sales projection until the end of the year 2020 are $16,000. We project to engage uh, 100,000 people worldwide in the year 2021, so the revenue estimated to be $360,000. Finally, to fund our MVP, we have successfully launched a crowdfunding campaign and reached our goal in less than a week. We're actively looking for angel investors right now. Uh, Omeniki strives for the world where every pregnancy is a beautiful journey. Uh, thank you very much. Great. Three minutes. <laughs> uh, you do, Anna, really good. So, dear judges, feel free to ask any questions. Yeah, hi, Anna. I'll uh, ask the first question. So, <clears throat> I understand that you're making the app, but are there, are there any sort of wearable devices or IoT components that you're building to support this and supplement it? Uh, first of all, w we're working with Apple Watch and Fitbits right now, uh, but to use this app, it's not necessary to have hardware for now. Uh, we can track heart rate, for example, just using the camera of the phone. And uh, the phone, without any hardware, the phone collects user data on a daily basis. So it's possible to use this app without any hardware. Okay, thanks. And uh, the question for me. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, would you tell uh, about your unfair advantages uh, comparing with another market solutions? Uh, first of all, for now, there is there are no pregnancy app that would use heart, uh, health tracking only for pregnant women. All of the apps they are more concentrated on uh, pregnancy specific articles or something like that. Uh, this is uh, a new kind of app. Uh, the second one is our, um, our collaboration with the Kyoto University and the gynecology and obstetrics department there. Uh, we, were, we were able to develop a really pregnancy-specific uh, algorithm uh, due to that knowledge and connection to the university. 
Anna, are you able to get sponsorship or um, what can I say, subsidies or even revenue from all the other uh, parties that are in maternity care? And I'm talking about hospitals, clinics, pharmaceutical companies, toy companies, and so on. Uh, yes, for now we're looking to uh, collaborate with the, uh, we're located in Kyoto, with Kyoto Prefecture. Uh, uh, this is our goal, however, our first step would be B2C. First, we're trying to get as many customers as possible. And then one of our goals is, is to go B2G and to collaborate with the Japanese government. There's maternal... There's maternal... Sorry, if this was a question, I wasn't able to hear. It was an echo, go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, our goal is uh, to go B2G2 as there is maternity child uh, handbook in Japan. And we think that we can, uh, we will be able to collaborate with hospitals and doctors too in the future. Thank you, Anna. Uh, I have a question, Anna, uh, and uh, this is based on, I, I just uh, became a father like two months ago. Uh, and uh, so you said there are no existing apps. I, be, I, I would uh, disagree to that because we used apps throughout the pregnancy and some of them did have heart rate monitoring, etc. cetera. Uh, so maybe it's not uh, localized to Japanese uh, market, but apps do exist. Have you done a, a research on that or do you want to just uh, keep it localized to uh, Japanese market? And how would you handle, let's say, expats like such as me, for example, who are going to have babies and in, uh, in, in Japan, right? So how would you handle such cases? Uh, first of all, I would say that there is no um, automatic input of data. All of the data is it's possible to input it uh, manually, and there is no health insights. Uh, for the apps that are that exist in the market now that's what I meant uh, for the second part could you please repeat the question I did not really understand yeah I, I'm asking like are, are you gonna focus only on uh, Japanese uh, uh, speaking uh, members or are you gonna support also expats living in Jap in Japan like English speaking uh, guys or etc since first Physically, all of the members of the team are located in Japan for now, and we uh, were admitted as uh, we're a cohort member of uh, Japanese incubator. We started, we're starting with Japan, and we're focusing on the Japanese market now. However, our vision is to go global. I'm oh, sorry, pardon me. I asked uh, non-Japanese speaking people living in Japan, are you going to also target them? Because, for example, sure. if I was to use we this have... app, I cannot read it. We have all the English translations. We use uh, two languages, but it, it is Japan focused, but we have yeah, two yeah, languages. Yeah, I, yes. yeah, got it. Thank you. 